Diablo 4 at its core has an amazing storyline. It's my first Diablo and my first ARPG. Going through the Diablo 4 campaign, I found myself remembering my teachings at Bible study, wondering why I fell in love with Diablo's 4 story campaign as I became more powerful fighting off demons in the name of the light. This is a spoilers free video because if you ever play Diablo 4, I would like for you to experience the same feels as I did. Regret, greed, violence, breakthroughs, and hope. There was one cinematic towards the end of the campaign that put it all together for me how Diablo 4 took a lot of his storyline campaign from the book of the Bible. This cinematic campaign is a perfect 10 out of 10 because the battle of darkness and the light which holds true in the Bible. So how does it compare? Let's begin. In the Bible, we have God. Some know him as Jehovah. Depending on your denomination, some know him as Jah. Nevertheless, God is always identified as the light. In the Bible, there's heaven and hell. Earth, which is identified in the Bible as purgatory, a place between heaven and hell where humans live to decide their faith and judge based on their life choices where they will end up after death, heaven or hell. If you are a good person and you didn't live a sinful life and you believed in Jesus Christ, then you will go to heaven. If you are swayed by darkness and live the life of sin and after death you will go to hell where you will burn eternally. When you guys get the time, please google 7 deadly sins. In the Bible, there's Adam and Eve. God created Adam first, a man, and Eve, a woman. Next, was created from the rib of Adam. So God created Adam and Eve. Both were pure from sin, and in God's kingdom, heaven, they were free from any diseases. They were never sick. They were always perfect in every way, just like God. God had one request for Adam and Eve, and that was not to eat from this tree. In Diablo 4, that tree was the Tree of Whispers, a physical place and sanctuary where you can speak to those that went to hell. In the Bible, this tree bared fruits, such as apples, and God told Adam and Eve not to eat from this tree. There was no such thing as sin in heaven. One day... Eve plucked an apple from this tree, tempted by a snake. This snake breached heaven from hell and told Eve to eat the apple but share it with Adam. Eve convinced Adam to eat the apple with her. They both ate the apple and as soon as they did this, God got angry and sin was created. Sin is going against the word of God. Adam and Eve was sent to earth, sanctuary in Diablo 4, which is purgatory, a place between heaven and hell to live out their days to be judged again where their soul will end up either in heaven or hell. Lilith is the mother of sanctuary in Diablo 4. Jesus is an entirely different story. Jesus was a mention in Diablo 4, so I will leave it out. Jesus' story, but mention him here or there. Lilith created sanctuary. Who is Lilith? We will discuss her shortly. In the Bible, Jesus was the son of God. Jesus had a best friend, an angel by the name of Lucifer. Lucifer was the perfect angel, always abiding by God's word. God loved Jesus more than Lucifer, and this made Lucifer mad. Therefore, jealousy was made. Lucifer stopped listening to the word of God, and then God created a place for those that didn't listen to him called hell. A place where angels no longer held the light and now became dark. A dark soul. Like the game. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyways, as Lucifer went to hell, his new name was the devil, Mephisto in Diablo 4. As humans came into existence from the multitude of Adam and Eve, Christians were born, a faith in which you believed in God through Jesus, the Son of God, so that one day after death you will end up in heaven where you will be back with the light. In purgatory, you have choices to make between the light and darkness. Christians believed in the light as to where darkness tries to overcome the light by those like Elias in Diablo 4 who persuades people and your character to choose the darkness to flourish with Lilith and Mephisto in hell. Elias is a side main storyline in Diablo 4. In Diablo 4, there are many main storylines. Mephisto, Lilith, Inarius, the Harajan, which are the Christians, and you. The game chooses your path from the beginning. It would have been awesome to choose your path midway into the game, changing course of the main storyline, but the game doesn't do that. So you are stuck with this path. Don't want to spoil it for you, but know the path is between the light and darkness. A path to heaven or a path to hell. Okay, let's get more into Diablo 4 now. 
The light was created, a place where angels lived away from sin, a powerful thing that gives life and holds the power of good that can cast out any darkness. If you are given any powers by the light, it is called a blessing. In the Bible, if anything good happens to you, it is called a blessing. The light created angels. One angel that was created was called Mephesto. Mephesto birthed a daughter named Lilith. The light also created another angel by the name of Anarius. Mephisto was kicked out of the light and sent to hell because he wanted the ultimate power of the light and he wanted to be the Almighty, to use the light for his wicked ways, to control everything in the name of darkness. Mephisto was kicked out of the light and sent to hell, where he now became the devil. There's a major storyline between Lilith and Inarius, the two angels, and their time in heaven with the light. So no spoilers because it was shocking when this was revealed to me during the end the cinematic or towards the end. So I will skip over this part now and go to who is Lilith. Lilith is the daughter of Mephesto. Mephesto got kicked out of the light and went to hell. Birth from sin and the darkness, she also wanted to be with her father. Before she was casted from the light, something between her and Inarius happened. Lilith went to hell where she thrived as a daughter of the devil. She was very powerful but didn't have ultimate power like her father. She craved more and more for this power and knowing the blood of the Haradrins were the keys to giving her the power to do something in hell. Do not want to spoil it again. Haradrins were Christians in the Bible. Lilith needed a place to where she can manipulate these Christians or Haradrins for her wicked ways. She created a place like Earth called Sanctuary, so therefore she is the mother of Sanctuary. So those that got banished from the light, aka heaven or hell, went to Sanctuary where they had free will to choose which life they wanted to live. Again, if you believed in the light, you went to heaven. Heaven was also mentioned in Diablo 4. Or you went to hell. Lilith again is the mother of sanctuary. Even though she created this place, she was limited in what she could do with her powers. She needed the blood of the people, aka the NPCs, or your character, because you have free will to do what you want. There has to be influence if free will is always involved. The influence of the darkness through the Antichrist, where Elias came in, who plays a major role in helping Lilith attain her goal and true power. Again, no spoilers. So just like the Bible had disciples in Diablo 4, these disciples of the light are NPCs or non-playable characters like Prava, Loreth, and Donan. You meet up with these NPCs to help guide you through this path, a path between the light and the dark. Your job as a character is to help the light in this fight as Lilith and Mephesto try to overcome the light for ultimate power. It goes way beyond deeper than this. But again, don't want to spoil it for you. It will all make sense when you play Diablo 4. If you play Diablo 4, please rewatch this video after so you can see the major comparison between Diablo 4 main storyline campaign and the Bible. Well, that was my time. Remember to subscribe, like, and turn notifications on. Until next time, my name is Jug, and have a wonderful day. Peace.